Hello, welcome back to the James Rambling Reviews for yet another episode. And in today's episode, I actually want to continue the Shrek saga that I contend that started yesterday. I did actually review the original Shrek movie because the, the Shrek 5 announcement got me thinking, gave me a bit of inspiration of stuff to review. So I will be talking about Shrek 2 in this review, but before I get into my thoughts on Shrek 2, so many years later after being a kid and kind of have my new found perspective on the movie all these years later, I will just like to mention that I will put a link in the, the description of this video about how I have my Shrek like review I did yesterday, which is actually actually doing alright compared to other reviews. I think it's almost gotten over 50 views and that's pretty good to know because, you know, Shrek's quite a popular franchise and with the recent announcement of Shrek 5, a lot of people are kind of excited to see videos about Shrek again and stuff like that. So there's that. But before I get into the actual review, I'll obviously have to give you, I've already given you a bit of context, but I'll give you like the plot summary or kind of how I perceive the plot, and then I'll give you a bit, a bit about how, how I felt about the movie, or I'll give it a 10, and things of that nature. So the so Shrek 2, right, this is like the, the follow-up to the original Shrek, and what this kind of does is that you've got Shrek and Fiona, they've married, that was established at the end of the first movie, right? And then you've got how they come back from their honeymoon and then they go to this place called Far Far Away where they actually meet their mother and father who are the king and the queen of this movie. And the king himself realises that Shrek turns into this ogre bee and he's like, oh, that's just disgusting. Why do you like this kind of thing? And that's how I describe it. It's like, oh, Shrek, why? Why did you marry an ogre Fiona kind of thing? And so you get that kind of idea flowing around. And also you get this idea that there's going to be a couple more antagonists in this movie and what I mean by that. So if you don't know, the original antagonist of the original Shrek movie was Lord Farquaad. But in this movie you get a bit of the fairy godmother and you also get Prince Charming in this movie. So it kind of escalates where you have Shrek, Fiona, you've got Donkey still in this movie as well. You've also got this new character that was introduced called Puss in Boots and you get that as well. So you get a few diff more elements in this movie compared to the original film, and so there's definitely that, and I won't beat around the bush when it comes to the plot of this movie. So how do I actually feel about Shrek 2? So Shrek 2 is actually regarded as, like, the best Shrek movie in the entire franchise, and I would definitely say that when it comes to Shrek 2, it is certainly a very good movie. Like, there's people out there who say, oh, Shrek 2 is better than the original, but just, just keep it in mind that w without the original film, you wouldn't have this, like, really good, well-executed movie. And so there's that. But Shrek 2, what it really does well at is how it kind of, like, builds more on the storyline of the whole entire Shrek franchise. You learn more about Shrek. There's even parts where you learn how he's actually becoming a human and how he deals with that kind of thing and how people perceive him as a human as to being an ogre. People treat him with more respect when he's not, like, an ogre sort of thing, so there's that. There's really funny scenes, and uh, definitely Shrek 2 has a lot a lot more things going on in it than the original film, and the comedy just really hits as hard as, hard as the original. And unlike other sequels to franchises that you know of, it doesn't rehash the original. It actually takes what it knows from the original film and actually builds upon it, and that's what's really, really good about this. You've also got to consider the soundtrack of this movie, like the original Shrek had a really iconic soundtrack to it, but this movie really does show itself in the terms of the soundtrack because you have stuff like, I need a hero, I need a hero at the end of the night, and the whole thing with the go the fairy godmother and all that, and that epic final climax in the film really showcase how the soundtrack really does leave an impact in this movie. So there's that. And also... King Charmin does add an interesting perspective to all of this and how he kind of goes about doing it and how he wants to take over as this new kind of villain in the movie and how he wants to marry Princess Fiona. Shrek stops him, obviously, and then you don't really get to see him actually marry Princess Fiona. So Shrek gets what he wants out of this whole movie and the fact that this movie kind of builds upon the original is something to appreciate about the film. So this review might be a bit shorter than the last time because you already know about the established stuff I talked about in my background with Shrek as a franchise. So out of 10, I would give Shrek 2, right? I would say Shrek 2 is a 9.5 out of 10. 
because it does do a lot more than the original movie, and both movies are just as good as each other, so it's a solid follow-up, a solid sequel indeed. And so that is kind of my review on Shrek 2. There's so many ways in which you can talk about peak cinema like this, but I just wanted to condense it so much to the point where I'm not going to go on for 29 years talking about this really, really immaculate movie. So, yeah, that's kind of my review. Let me know what you thought about Shrek 2 in the comments down below, and I'd like to hear what you think, because I will be continuing this series of Shrek movies, because I will be reviewing Shrek the Third and Shrek Forever After, after this kind of stuff as well. So, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on the movie. Bye. That's my review, I guess.